Well, hello everyone and welcome to our legacy team training call. And I am so excited to introduce to you someone that has been one of my mentors for many years, someone mm. who I have incredible respect for and uh, someone who I, I truly call a friend. Joe, Joe, you and I have gone back decades. Um, we actually, in a previous company, we were sidelined together, but I've always had admiration for you uh, you are a multi-million dollar earner in this industry, which, which says a lot. Um, you're probably one of the top people I've ever met in terms of just intelligence. You're, you're extremely brilliant when it comes to understanding network marketing, when it comes to understanding compensation plans, and when it comes to understanding people. You know, I always love in our conversations, you know, we just say we're the straight shooters. And uh, I've always respected when I, when I have a question or something I'm gonna to run to by you, so on and so forth. We appreciate you being part of the CTFO family. We appreciate you being a leader and we appreciate everything you do. And uh, I wanna edify you before we get into some really great topics and, and do some training because it really was you. It was you who many months ago, going back said, you would love everything about this company from the owners to the, um, products to the mission uh you just said guys if you just add some some gasoline your exact words add some gasoline to this fire you're going to see this company hit that billion dollars faster than you've ever did before and you had said lead with opportunity show the money add money and it was your persistence your had a great year from corporate and you played a massive role. So I just want to touch on a few things in the limited time we have, Joe, and thank you for, for, for spending this. I know you've got great yeah. of wisdom. So first and foremost, what do you like about this compensation plan? It really is a plan that, that you, it was your, you created in the sense, uh, in particular, I know you were a huge advocate of the loyalty bonus and, you know, in, in terms of that, and there's a lot of other things. So what are your feelings now that we just launched the Finney 7? How do you feel about that? That's great. Um, hopefully I'm coming in clearly. Um, let me touch on a few things. Um, God, I sh I've, I've been in the industry like you over 30 years. I've seen a lot. I've made a lot. I've sat on corporate advisory council. So um, when it came to the comp plan, what you were, what you were saying uh, just now in your intro, and by the way, thank you for all that. I, I do appreciate that. I stay humble. That's nice you know, whatever, but we, we've, you know, we all just keep moving on. I want to say that the, per, the amount of percentage that CTO, uh, CTFO gives back was right. Where it was being placed, I thought could have been done better. And so I had gone to work over the last really two years, kind of dissecting where I thought it would, would it, you know, how it would be better. And I presented that and it was accepted, uh, full on. And I was kind of blown away. I was like, man, that's fantastic. Because here's the thing. One thing we all know about CTFO, uh, let's just say in network marketing in general, all companies that have survived, you know, the three, five years really and beyond, they all have a good product or two or three good products, rarely three. CTFO has many. I mean, so I like to tell people, let's get the product thing out of the way. I don't want to waste time talking about product. Believe me when I tell you, I've been doing this over 30 years. This company has phenomenal products. I want to talk to you about money. And that's kind of how I, I get into it with people because I don't want to waste my time talking to people about buying a $50 product. It's not going to make anybody a lot of money. We've got plenty of that that will end up. Let your customers, and here's kind of the first training I want to give you, let your customers come as a result Mm -hmm. of building the business, the opportunity, they'll come, trust me. Most people do it the other way around. They go try to find customers and hope and pray to gosh that they're going to miraculously find someone. It's so much easier to do it the other way around. So go after the business end of it. You're going to be showing on the products. You're going to be watching the products. Let the videos, let the tools do the work. So I don't even like to talk to people as much about the product as much as I do, just kind of hinting and, and, you know, as to what they are, how great they are. And then I let the tools do the work. What are the tools? The videos. Mm -hmm. Let your, look, the company has spent and they've spent an awful lot of money. What are we up to, Michael? Like 15 different landing pages oh. for crying out loud. They've given it all to you, you know, and they're going to continue. We can tell them to stop, but they're not going to stop. They will continue to add more. 
here's the other thing they'll continue to do, whether we like it or not. They're constantly continuing to add great products. They don't need to, but they will. Mm -hmm. Now let's get to the money. The money was the bigger thing I, I saw, Michael, because – it's just a fact in, in, in direct sales and the network marketing. If checks aren't being shown or talked about, mm -hmm. things don't grow fast. And what I mean by that is I saw that we need to have more people making the $20,000 a week incomes like you're bringing in. We need more of those people because when that happens, people wake up. Mm -hmm. So that's how I kind of attacked it. And I said, look, if we take the existing percentage that we have, we move them here, move them here, move them here. Here's what could happen. Now, you guys got to go to work, get a hold of the, you know, the guys that do all the algorithms, they, they do all the coding or whatever it is, and let's see if I'm right about this, and, and, and let's do this. What they did, Michael, is they took everything I told them. They added a few, you know. One of the things that I that I uh, mentioned was let's double the matrix. Instead of 1% all the way down, 2%. So, by the way, I want to tell everyone here, listen to me clearly. You don't have to go into all the details of the comp plan. Again, let the video do the work. There's no better person really on the planet to do the comp plan than Stu. Well, he's already done a couple of them in webinars. There'll be others, and there's going to be an automated one, a, a video that's going to be done. It will be done. It will be great. Let that do the work for you. But when I'm generally going over, Michael, for instance, the matrix, I just say, look, they doubled it. They doubled the matrix. OK, you don't need to own the two percent. It's not even necessary. It literally doubled, period. That's it. It doubled. Mm -hmm. So the PSPs double. So, for instance, if the PSP was one percent and went to two percent on your first PSP, we'll run from two to four or run from two to four now to, you know, et cetera, it, that type of thing. So le make it simple. The other thing was the they called it the loyalty bonus. I thought there needed to be there needed to be a padding on the back basically a bonus for people maintaining their level. If they get to 5,000 K manager, that's great. They got a reward, but now what? How about we give them a reward to keep that level? So if they're at, let's say 4,800 and they need to boost it to 5,000 and they got a day or two to do it or a few days to do it, they can go out and get some other sales, talk to their downline, whatever, to where they boost it up and they keep that money coming in. So that's where that loyalty bonus comes in. Um, and then lastly, I had nothing to do with the coded bonus plan, the, the infinity coded plan. That was the brilliance of the two finger brothers and Kelly foot. You know, they were all involved in, in a telecommunications company years ago where that company literally had, and you need to hear me clearly, hundreds, plural, hundreds of people making six figures a month. Stu and his brother were two of those people. Kelly Foote was the other. So we've got three people in this company that were making six figures monthly. Okay, that's over a million plus a year. And as Stu likes to say, that company was flying because of this comp plan so fast. When he and his brother went to talk to the owners, the owners wouldn't even give them the time of day. That's how many people were making big money. So the question came up when we were looking at this and, and you know, moving percentage around or whatever. And when they introduced, um, when those three introduced, hey, what if we what if we went back and did a coded plan? Michael, I was a little like, well, let's look at it. You were like, man, it's working. Let's just stick here. Let's just bolster what we got. They kind of convinced us, no, you know, and the big one was. We kind of went to Kelly and said, you asked him, you said, why is this so, why is this such a big deal? I mean, if a coded plan, and we're going to make an infinity bonus, a coded plan to where we can never lose the percentage. And I'll get back to that in a second. If it's so great, why don't other companies do it? And Kelly, who has literally built and designed compensation plans for over 300 companies around the world. This guy's a master with comp plans. He quickly retorted because they pay too much. It's that simple. And he explained to us, look, you got to keep in mind when they hire me to go in to consult with them to build these comp plans, the comp plans not to be built. They're not bringing me in to say, hey, how much money can we give to the distributors? It's how, how, how can we get in there, make it smell pretty, you know, look nice, smell pretty, to where we can sell it to the distributors, sell it to the members to where they're like, whoa, we got this great plan. But in reality, 
They really don't. Mm -hmm. And I quipped, I, I kind of shot him there and I said, you mean it's like a casino? The house always wins. He goes, that's exactly what it's like. <laughs> so the thing that I want everybody to understand is Kelly, this gentleman, Kelly, he's not corporate. He's like you and me and Michael. He's a member. So you say, well, how that, how's that going to benefit? Because he's a member. He's helping the, the company to build this plan for himself. And remember, Stu, his brother Steve, Michael Kahn, you know, all the, they all get paid through the comp plan. So it's interesting what's going on here, the dynamics. So I want you to think about this. And then we get back to the infinity plan, Michael. Here was one of the challenges that I saw. When you built up the $25,000 in total group volume, you got your first infinity bonus, 3%. That's great. It's a lot of money. It actually, the infinity bonus pays out a lot, you know, so, but here's the thing. If you have someone behind you, that's most of your volume, and then they creep up a couple of months later and they now hit that 25,000 mark. This is the plan that was last week and prior. We're now moving forward with the new plan, but Here's what I saw happening. If someone then became a 25K and they got the 3%, they took that 3% away from you and they got the 3%. Now, you're getting the 3% infinity bonus on your other people. But remember, this person below you, let's call him John, who just moved up, he's the majority of your group. Let's say he's 60%, 70% of your group. Well, he just took away a large chunk of your paycheck. And remember, it's always about money. It's always about paycheck. So you build and you build and you build. You now hit the 50,000 mark. But guess what? John's growing even faster because he was most of your group. So he's growing exponentially. Well, one month later, he becomes a 50K. So where you got that 4% now and you're getting 4% on his group, he was getting the three on his group. You're now getting four. He now becomes a 50 and he takes that four as well away from you. You're getting zero infinity off that group. And that's kind of how that was. And I, so I posed that to the owner and said, something has to change because if people are going to be out there busting their butt, they need to be able to have an infinity bonus to where they can keep it forever for them. It's theirs. They built it. And that's why they introduced this coded plan. And when I finally grasped this, and I think Michael, when you, when, when we finally grasped it, we just sat back and we're like, oh my gosh, here's the bigger thing. Guys, this infinity bonus goes up to 35%. That is three times the percentage of our last week and before full 12%. It's up to 35% when you get there. Now, I want to say something. Remember, 12% was the max. You had to have 100,000 in volume. One of the brilliant things that our new president came up with was he brought to the table when he saw this, he said, drop the volumes. Michael, I think you're the one who told me that. Drop the volumes, and this thing's going to fly. Now, what does that mean? That means this has nothing to – graduating from 5% infinity to 10% to 15 20 all the way up to 35 if it has nothing to do with volume, guys, this is – for a leader, a true leader to get in here and, and, and rank up to 10 15 20 even up to 35%, I'm not going to say it's a joke. But for a lot of these people that have built multi-million dollar businesses, this is kind of a joke. You say, well, why is that? Well, all you have to do in this business is go get 10 people to get a pack. You get a pack, you go get 10 people to get a pack. Michael, now you're, you're already qualified for 15%. Is that correct? That's correct. You know, Joe, I wanted to talk about that because you brought up- That's a huge. Let's talk about what are you doing? How are you training a new person coming in? What happens if a person says, well, I can't afford a pack? Because we've gone from this mom and pop coming for free, $47, which is still yes. there. That's yep. all there. That's it's all, all there. available. You know, we give away a free website. You don't have to use a credit card to sign up. You can get to the top of the plan doing $47. You can make money without buying products. That's all there. But to most people that are joining today, in tomorrow and in the thousands and that they're, they're very money motivated. They're looking to make career income. Yes. So again, I'm going to repeat the question. How are you training the new person? How are you handling if there's an objection for someone investing in a path? What kind of culture are you training? 
You know, it's an easy one for me. I mean, my entire career, one of the things I learned early on was leverage. And it's not just leverage, like letting your money go to work for you. I'm talking leverage in a different way. I have trained, as you know, I've literally traveled the world and trained at conventions and and all kinds of things. One of the things that I've always trained on, it's one of my staples. I have a few staples. I'll give a couple of them to you here, um, is this. I don't think people have any business training or coaching, like coaching your your new recruit, until they've permitted you to. Mm. They've given you permission. You say, well, what does that mean? Why would I talk to Sally, who's a new recruit of mine, about making big money if she hasn't told me, no, I want to make big money. So I always ask the question, well, Sally, before I get going, I need to ask you a couple of questions. One of the main questions I get to, Michael, is I need to know from you before I move on, what are you here for? Are you here to make Are you here to make a few hundred bucks a month or are you here to make the kinds of money you've been hearing about? Mm-hmm. Five, 10,000 a week or more. You know, oh my gosh, are you kidding? And then they come back, oh my, I mean, are you kidding me? No, I'm here. No, listen, I would love to quit my job. I want to spend time with them. No, I want to make, they've now just given you permission to, and here's the key word, to tell them what to do. Not ask them what to do, to tell them what to do. Mm-hmm. You first need to go buy a pack. I don't care what pack, there's three. There's silver, there's a gold, there's a platinum. We'll go over those in a minute. You got to get a pack. We got to go get three people to get a pack. That's your first goal here. It's not about anything else. That's it. Why? Because if you get a pack and get three to get a pack, you now enter into now being able to qualify. You've now qualified yourself to be able to start earning the infinity bonus. That's number one. Number two, people are going to say, they always are, because I, you know, I've been involved in a few other companies. And when it all when it comes down to, let's say, buying a $300, $350 pack. And if they get in the first 10 days, it's 300 bucks. They say, oh my gosh, I'd love to do that. I just can't afford it. I beg to differ. They can't afford it. Usually they can easily pull $100, $150 out of their pocket, credit card, whatever. But let's say they're $150 short. Here's what I would tell them. And this is what I've told them in the past. Go ask your mom, your brother, your dad, your sister, your cousin, whoever, coworker, you need help. You're starting a business. I need a little help not asking them for money. You're saying, look, this company's got 85 of the, you know, some of the greatest nutraceuticals, right? You know, CBD products, whatever you want to say, uh, you know, keto creamers, you know, coffees with CBD infused, whatever. Can you buy a product or two? Wow. Don't have them go to the website and buy it. Have them go to the website to look and say, hey, I want the coffee and the creamer. Mm. Well, how much is that, Michael? That's sure. That's 70 bucks. Yeah, yeah. That's 70 bucks towards the 150 that you need. You follow me? And go get two or three people to do that. Then have them give you the cash and you go buy it. Spend that 300, whatever you do. And here's the key. Do not press that purchase button unless it says you're silver qualified. Once it says you're silver qualified, you've made that mark. Click purchase. Then it's up to you to obviously get those products to those people. But you've now qualified. That's the first thing you've got to do to get out of the way. Okay, so don't let people say, well, I can't afford it. They can't afford it. Listen, if there's a will, there's a way. If they want to build this and they've already given you permission, Mm. then you say, here's what you need to do. Well, I can't afford it. Yes, you can. I'm going to show you how to do it. If they say to you, well, I don't know if I want to go to my, you're not going to your friends and family asking them, do you want to join the business? You're saying, can you help me out with my business? There's 85 products here. Can you find a product or two and purchase for, uh, for, you know, purchase that? Just give me the cash. I need to go in and buy it. They don't need to know why. And that's it. So that's there. That's I love it. So, you know, in closing, I wanted you to talk a little bit about you. Built- I have one more thing I wanted Absolutely. to get across. I don't mean to interrupt you. One oh, last ahead, thing. You know, over the years, I've built some very large organizations, mm-hmm. one of which was with, as you know, Kevin Fortier, our new president. I sat on the corporate advis- advisory panel there for a few years with that, uh, with that company. That was years ago. Um, But one of the reasons that I built so fast with that company is I got really good at one thing. I get, I got good at getting people, Michael, beyond me. Okay. I got them beyond me. You say, what does that mean? Getting people beyond you. Look, if I'm the one and I need to talk to everybody looking at me here on the screen here, 
if it's always you having to call Ralph, Sarah, John, Kelly, Susan, and you're always calling them up to pump them up, uh, you know, we're going to, and if you're constantly having to do that, you haven't done your job and they're really not committed. Mm. So my goal is to get my people believing in this company, believing in these products, believing in this opportunity beyond me. And here's how you know that. If I quit today, will they continue? And if the answer is yes, you've done your job. Wow. You've done your job. You say, well, how do I get people beyond me? Great question. When they first come in, obviously you're talking to them. They're going to watch some videos. Do a three-way call or three. Mm -hmm. Okay. Listen to me clearly here. A lot of you are doing this on your own. Dumb, dumb, dumb. I don't mean to be so harsh, but that's kind of how I am. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just direct with people. We're here for a reason. Just introduce us. And if you can't find, you know, John, then call up line to Sally. If Sally's not there, call me. If, if I'm not there, call Michael. Do whatever you can, but get a person on. What, they're, what you're going to find is that these people are going to say, oh, you know, this Bill guy, he, he's not the only dodo here. I mean, all these other people kind of talking the same way. <laughs> you know, they're saying the same things in a different way, but I can hear they're honest and they're intelligent and they're sharp and they seem to really want to help me. Boom. Okay. Next, they're going to watch some videos. Next, get them on conference calls. Once they start doing this, then the ultimate really, what it really boils down to, and we're getting back to this after this COVID, hopefully we're going to start getting back to more of this, is every year they may go to a convention. And then they're to a point, hopefully, to where now they don't need you. They don't care whether you quit. They don't care. They know what they have. You've now gotten them beyond you. Once you have that going on, you will now have leverage in your business. Wow. There you go. Thank you so much. You know, you just mentioned Kevin and working with him. What do you, what do you think that means for, for you work with Kevin in the past? You know who he is, his integrity, his work ethic, what he brings to the table. What does it mean for those that are watching right now that you think the benefit of Kevin being our, our, our president? You know, in that last company, I got him when they were doing about 40 million, Michael, a year debt free, and we, I think we ramped that company up to, I don't know, 360 million in a very short time, a few years, four years. I don't know what it was. Um, but I personally had the good fortune of being one of a few that sat on the corporate advisor council. So I got to watch um, Ray and the other owner uh, in action. One thing I can say, Kevin, I always, you know, we always used to say kind of as a joke, Kevin was the people's person. You know, he was the you know, he was the king's people, you know, it was that type of thing. Because he was the guy that would go out there and, you know, like the next day after convention, he'd be the one on the run with everybody. He'd be the one visiting different parties and stuff. It wasn't the other owner. Kevin is all he always wants to kind of be in the thick. He gets to know people. When he's talking to you, he's looking you directly in the eye. He takes you seriously. He's that kind of guy you want in your corner. Um, and people say, Well, I've I've had many people ask me, why would Stu put another guy as a president instead of him I said because Stu knows one thing look any good leader knows what they're good at and they know their flaws they, they know what they're not good at right I know my flaws better than anybody believe me I got a bunch of flaws a lot of people like to say well oh Joe you're the best you do that you know you're but I know my flaws I'm sure Michael you know your flaws sure, many of right them. I know my flaws Stu knows what he's good at and Stu knows where he wants to focus Stu, I say, is like a little kid in a candy shop. He's so darned excited, but it's genuine. See, that's the thing. He's so excited about what he likes to do. He kind of wants to move away from doing that presidential type stuff, and he wants to focus on what he does best, and that is he just wants to build and build and build, and he has put his heart and soul. You know, I've been telling people, Michael, when I presented this change of compensation plan or enhancements, and they went and they sat on it. He talked to the other owners. They came back about eight days later, just like he said he would. I'll never forget where I was, you know, watching my kid in, in wrestling practice and stepped out, took the call. And he said, we're in, we're in, we, we want to talk about it. We're all in. And that started in about a week or two later, after we had done some, some zooms, you know, the leadership together, I told a couple of people said, because of Stu, I said, man, I've created a monster. This, this guy's, he's at a whole different level, man. I mean, I've never seen, and, and that's how Stu is. He, he's just, he's good at what he wants to do. And so I think bringing Kevin on, who I told you when we started talking, I said, my gosh, if there's one guy 
that would be great to come to the table. My gosh, would it be Fournier? It would be Kevin. You know, he'd be the guy. So, yeah, I'm I'm happy. I'm really happy. And we got it all. We got new product coming out. We got a new president. We got a new comp plan that's gonna that's gonna pay. I mean, you're gonna see people making fifty to a hundred, two hundred thousand dollars a month here. So, guys, it's just time. It's just no panzing around. Let's move. It's exciting. You know, I want to thank you so much, Joe. And uh, I want to I want you to make a commitment publicly. I hope to have you on so many more trainings leading this charge. You are sure. a master trainer. We are we are so blessed to have you, and obviously to have as many trainings as. Uh, uh, for anyone that would like to train is open to doing that. Um, your commitment, your loyalty, um, who you, your integrity is, is amazing. The future is so bright. I am so happy uh, of your persistence and, and your suggestion you made. There are so many lives that are going to be changed, so many people who are going to be blessed. And um, we love you. We appreciate everyone. Make it a great night. Bye-bye for now.